The other uh, archetype that was announced for support in the Terminal World pack is Infernoid. Uh, so they get a new fusion, uh, just needs two Infernoid monsters, and then it banishes an Infernoid from a grave, and then send an Infernoid, uh, send Infernoid monsters rather, with different names from each other from your deck to the graveyard, equal to the banished monsters level. So if you use one of the big ones, it's really it sends good. lots of them to the bin. It's so good. Oh, no. uh, they get a link four. If your opponent special summons a monster, tribute one monster and negate the summoned if you do banish those monsters. Just and if a uh, card is banished from not your graveyard, uh, banish one card on the field. If it's destroyed by your opponent, special summon an inferno monster from your deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. So, like, if you go into this and then have Void Feast set, you can, like, have Spell Trap, negate, monster negate, and then get, like, a double Solemn off. They get a spell, uh, it's reveal an Inferno monster or a Void Spell and Trap in hand, discard the entire hand, then draw the same number of cards you discarded. Uh, oh. Well, it's just to get the Infernoids out of hand. Uh, the graveyard effect is probably more prevalent, assuming that you don't die immediately to these new stuff. If it's in the graveyard and all you control is Fiends, banish it, target up to 11 banished Infernoids, return them to the graveyard. This resets the game state. They get one more continuous card. You control no monsters or all monsters you control are fiends. Activate one of the effects or add one banished inferno monster to your hand or special summon an inferno monster from your hand ignoring its summoning conditions. This is great. 